Hello shell buddies and welcome back to the channel for part 5 of 5 of the Finn Finds 5 series. A winter storm named Finn made incredible shelling conditions all the way up and down the Gulf Coast of Florida and our area was no exception. We literally in these two days had Sanibel Dickman's level shelling unbelievable with some of the things that we found now you've already seen if you've seen some of these videos the genonia from lido key two scotch bonnets from over at fort de soto and a smattering of other really cool stuff from both longbow key and Grill as well today in the last part of this series we're going to go over to sunset beach And that's empty. Four Apple Murex is right here. Now, if you've been following my channel, you've seen that Sunset Beach took some terrible damage from both Ian and Idalia. The dune went missing in Idalia. Actually, well, it didn't go missing. It went into the street and went into the parking lot and went back into the ocean. We know where it went. It just didn't stay where it was needed to protect things. A big repair has been done there. The storms have battered it nonstop, basically, all throughout the later part of November, all through December, and now through this first half of January as well. So the dune kind of took it on the chin. It also moved around where things were beach-wise. The dune may not be there, but the beach itself is a lot bigger and a much farther out uh, approach where you can walk and get out there and walk around. We were above the small jetty right in front of the pavilion, and we headed north on our uh, way up toward Caddy's. And just the rack piles speak for themselves. On top of that, fistfuls, fistfuls of all of our favorites. Tulips, murexes, fighting conks, whelks. You just, you can't even believe what this beach looks like. Rather than me tell you about it, let's go out and look at it. The surfers are here. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a big pile of stuff on the beach. John, look, right over there. <clears throat> All right, so last time I was here, I just recently posted a video from here, actually. And this was blocked off because this was such a steep, sheer drop. They have cut back some of the sand now and made this where you can get through here again. It's a little tricky, but... It can be done. And there is quite a rack line. There doesn't seem to be anybody here shelling except for a couple of people up above the rocks. Holy urchins. Do we want to check the rocks before we go over here? Yeah. Let's do that first. Yeah. All right, so again, dunes encroached back even further still. But it looks like the shells are here. I see urchins, pen shells, cockles in a line all the way up there. Now, because there's been a northwest flow, we're going to check over here by the rocks as well. Because above that rock jetty, there should be stuff there too. It's usually a half decent pile there, actually. And just to get another stand in the same spot look in comparison, So, yep, there's the mangrove. The dune is all slumped. The mangrove's half full of that dune, actually. And there's what is left is, is right back. All the, the grass looks to be gone. So, yep. And there's a pile of urchins washed in here. Let me just angle the camera down so you can see this. Pen shells and sponges and urchins, oh my. Urchins all over the place here. Now there were a number of them at Pass the Grill too, but gosh, they're just sitting right on top of the sand here. This is kind of wild. A smattering of stuff over here compared to that huge pile. There's another jellyfish right there. Yeah, there's a ton of urchins. No. Oh my gosh. That whole pile is urchins. And somebody's 
crab pot, maybe? I don't know, some kind of fishing trap. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my That's gosh. all urchins and tons of shells. Oh my gosh, yeah, we made the right call turning this way first. Oh my word, look at this beach. Oh, holy smoly. Wow. My gosh. Ten shells everywhere. This whole thing I'm standing on is a big shell pile. Goes up that way. And around to the rocks. Big pile of stuff. There's a nice big scallop. Take that. Look at the hinged docinias. Look at them. Docinia, docinia, docinia. There's six of them right here. Man. This one's pretty. Boy, oh boy. Oh my gosh. That window. Oh, pen shells. Breaking pen shells. There's a really big egg cockle. And a little horse muscle. And a mayonnaise packet. Man. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Look at this. Huge scallops in here. Huge. Golly. Hey, a sand dollar. Look at that. Wow. Pretty decent shape, actually. If I slide it inside one of these docinias, it'll protect it. Try that. All kinds of stuff all over the place. There's some hinged prickly cockles there. Sunray Venus clams. Sand dollar pieces all over. Pen shells everywhere. Everywhere you look. My gosh, this pile. This is amazing. Yeah, I'm sort of glad we came this direction first. Even though we know there's stuff on the other side too. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. These tulips are alive. And that murex. I'm gonna bring them all to the water. Poor little guys. Another live tulip. Another beat up whelk missing his stem. An uh, apple murex shell that is actually empty. Nice. Another bad shape one. Oh my gosh. Once again, sensory overload. So, we're going to bring in an apple murex. I'm going to bring these guys down to the water. Let's go, little friends. Here you go, little friends. This is wet, but not quite all the way to the ocean. Get you in some waves. There we go. There's some water. Good luck, guys. What's this? Oh, an empty one. One I can have. Awesome. Nice colors. Excellent. Oh 
my goodness. I wonder if these two go together. Ooh, they do. Cool. A little pair of yellow prickly cockles. John's way ahead of me working in the, the rack line. No way! Oh, hello, lovely. That is a beautiful little pony horse conk right there. Fantastic find. Thank you, Sunset Beach. Wow! Look at the size of this piece of horse conk. Oh my. Hey, there's a really nice piece of coral. Look at that. Oh, two pieces or did this break off of the original? Nope, separate piece, I guess. Doesn't seem to, well, does it fit there? It does, okay, so this is from one. That's neat. Take that. My gosh. Juvenile fighting comp there. He's got a little green on him that'll bleach right off. Very nice. I'm not trying to get a whole bunch of these things because there's a lot of nice ones here. So they'll have to be really special or smaller for me to take them. This is just nutty. Wow. That one is really amazing. Look at the colors. That one's special. That one I will take. Hello, little fighting conk. In the bag. Look at that whelk. Wow. Oh, it's alive. Oh, little friend, you need some water. Okay. Critter. Perfect. Very nice. Look at that little guy. Oh, it is a little tiny crab, but he's had it though. Ooh, and there's an apple mirror behind him. Nice. And another one over here and a moon snail. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's empty. That's empty. And that's empty. Four Apple Murexes right here. Oh, he smokes. There's another one. There's five. Wow. And a little friend that looks like he needs some water. So we'll send him back to the ocean too. 
All right, there's more Apple Murexes up ahead of me. I can't get over that. You gotta be kidding me. Another Apple Murex. And another Apple Murex. And look at the size of that coffee bean Melampus. Gorgeous color. Incredibly dark. That's a stunner. Man, all just right, right here. Literally right here. Another button snail here. There's a tulip that I can keep. It's packed full of sand. There we go. Oh, that's a gorgeous one. Look at those colors. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. Tulips and Murex is here today, boy. That one's alive. That one's empty. Oh, that one's empty. It's got some kind of critter on the back of it, which looks like it may not make it, but it's still attached. This guy's alive. Look at this tiny little one. And he's alive too. Boy, boy. Are you okay? Ooh, I think he's expired. Uh-oh. Oh, buddy. Cute little fly speck Sarah right there. Oh my gosh. All right, so I have all these guys to bring back to the ocean. Mercy. That one I can keep. That's a nice one. That one's got goo in it. Yeah, there's a critter in there. Oh my gosh. All over, everywhere I look. That one's empty. That one I can keep. Cool. Look at that. Moon snail and a little paper fig. Or is it a pear whelk? Oh, it's a pear whelk. It's thicker, and yeah. And he is expired and stiff. Oh, wow. A collectible Look, starfish. I found another one. A green lip mussel. But I think it's still in there. It feels like it's still in there, yeah. Wow, babe, good finds all in this crazy rack line. There's so many Murexes and tulips, it's nuts. There's a beautiful apple Murex right there. A live tulip. We'll put him back toward the water. That cute little teeny tiny juvenile fighting conch. And another apple Murex. Oh, I thought it's got a critter in it too. That one's got a critter in it too? No. Oh, that's a keeper. Nice. Can you get these guys to the water? Yep. Thanks, babe. I got to pick up this fossil conch. Yeah, there's a broken one over here. Oh, wow, well, that one's cool. Yep, old fossil crown conks. Look at that. Is that another Murex there? It is, and a keeper. Wow. Amazing, amazing. There's urchins all over the place too. Holy smokes, really good Murex shells here, golly. There's another one. And another tulip. And oh, that's weird. Another Murex. And it's a keeper. Oh, that one's really, really pretty. Oh my gosh. That's nice. Look at that with that purple and that orange. Wow. Boy. Two more Murexes. Three more Murexes. 
and a moon snail. A cone. Did you find a cone? Cool, babe. Heck yeah. We were just saying earlier how we hadn't seen any cones today. So much stuff out here to look at. I can't believe this. The murexes are insane here. There's one right there. It's still in. Yep, these guys are occupied. I'm making a little pile of occupied critters that have to go to the ocean. There's another murex that we can keep right here. And a perpulum. Look how small. John got a little. John found a limpet. And paper fig. Okay, is this one full? Oh, there's water in here. I can give these guys water in here. We'll be okay in here until the tide comes back. How about you? You're alive too. All right, everybody, let's take a bath and get wet. Oh my gosh, I don't have the energy to keep running the animals back and forth. <laughs> but this is awesome. Great shelling here. Just fantastic. I just picked up this little guy. It doesn't look, the, it's not really the right shape for an, an olive. And it's not really right for a margin. I don't know what this is. I'm going to have to look this one up. All right, so this shell was a puzzle for me because this is the first one of these I've ever found. It's a different type of marginella than what we usually find around here called the Vili marginella. It's about the same shape and size as a normal common Atlantic marginella, except on the top it has this little point. So it kind of like reminds you of an olive sort of. <laughs> but if you look inside that groove, See where the opening on the lip is and these, these just like little groove marks that kind of go up and around? Olives have these, Genonians have these, a couple other shells do too. It's sort of to help the animal kind of hold on in there, I think, as it uh, does its little snail thing. So this was a rare find, the only one of these I've ever found before. But now that I know about them and I've found one, I'll keep my eyes open a little more often for these guys because they're adorable. They're super cute. Just a teensiest little bigger, bit bigger than the marginellas that we normally find around here. Really nifty, nifty shell. And there's a worm snail there. Ooh. That just fell right off of this very old tulip, which has nothing but sand in it, and a couple of shells. Got an apple murex there. A little pear whelk right there. Another apple murex up here. Oh, he's gonna go back to the ocean too. Add him to the little water collection. Tulip in the ground right here, packed full of sand, collectible. Beautiful. My goodness. All right, yeah, I'm gonna put this in the tiny jar. I don't know what that is. I like having a mystery to look up when I get home now. That's fun. I haven't been picking up a lot of urchins. But this one with the white spines on it really fascinates me. They haven't been here long enough for the sun to have bleached those. So that's what color it actually came. So I think I am going to collect this little guy. And hopefully just put him in something to protect him. Tulips and murexes all over. Oh my gosh. There's a live fighting conch. Man. There is another Murex. Oh, well that one's only half a Murex. Golly. What's this? Oh, it still has the goo in it. That's a hinged calico scallop. It has expired and it still has critter yuck in there. See all those little dots? Those are his little eyes. 
leave that on the beach for the birds to gnaw on. Is this tulip full? No! This tulip is empty. That's a beauty. Wow. Rough lightning walk. Little pear walk, also rough. Another rough lightning whelk. An apple murex. One with a dead critter in it. There's a little drill shell. That's really cute. Oh, you're finding turbos now too up here? And, and a immaculated, here. but he's broken. I don't think he is maculated actually. I think he's just um, stained, but he's pretty broken too. We'll leave him here. Since we got Another some better ones. Nice. We're one. lucky limpet zone. Big one. That one's cool. Alright, that one's going in the tiny jar. And then there's another Murex right there. Look at that. That's gorgeous. There's one. Really nice. A little bitty Wow! We are doing amazing here. And we're only in like the one rack line. We're not even checking the high or by the water, really. There's tons of stuff by the water. A little tulip, slipper snail on it, popped right off. It means it's no longer viable because it wasn't sticking. So another tulip for us, too. Absolutely amazing up here. Amazing. There's another Murex. I picked one up too. Maybe another two. That one is totally collectible. Awesome. <laughs> now from standing height, it's harder to recognize some of this stuff, but when you get on your hands and knees on these rack lines it's amazing how much more you see there's a big operculum oh nice apple murex today is great up here for the murexes look at this one that's a fossil that guy right there Oh, I haven't seen too many moons. I got a couple, not a lot. Then again, I've kind of had my eyes dialed onto the Murexes since they're so plentiful here. There's one of my spotted slippers that I like. It's a really pretty shell. And look at this little hinged beauty. Oh, he's alive still. Can't open it. That's a juvenile cohog. Oh, I'll be there in a second. What, honey? Hinged calico? Nice. Cool. How's it look by the water? There's a lot of racking by the water now. Ton of pen shells. All right, if I've been down, there's bound to be something good in here. cockle a nice one and then there's another murex and it's empty Ooh. all right he's a little chewed up on the one side but I like that the colors awesome nice little whelk lots of these little horse muscles all over but still got critter in them if he's broken Oh, look at this cute little pear whelk. How sweet. There's a whelk there. 
in the middle. There's a cone right there. That's a cone. Yes, it is. That's two. That's some murex. Nope, that's a broken lock. He's collectible. Man, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I just cannot even. There's another one of those fossil ones that we keep finding. This boring sponge or something got a hold of this a long time ago. This is a wreck. But you can see though, it's like a crown conch with those ridges and these spikes on the bottom. That's pretty neat. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, we've hit three locations. Shelling has been just fantastic in all of them. Another great little aquamurex right here. My gosh. Unbelievable. Oh, just a piece of a tulip. Not seeing as many tulips this direction. There's a few more back behind me. Although there might be some in this rack ahead of me yet. But John's checking out. Um, there have been murexes pretty much up this whole stretch beach, though. Ooh, I'm gonna try to turn the wind at my back. It's a little better. What are you rack on? True tulip? Nice. Cool. Chunk worm snail. There's urchins all over the place. Some really bright prickly cockles. A lot of these little hinge muscle fellas. Oh, that's a nice one. There's one of those nice egg cockles I like. Look at that yellow. Wow. Pow pow. Hinged pear. Bright, bright yellow. Bright yellow prickly cockles. Gorgeous. Chunk of a true tool there. It's in pretty rough shape though. I don't think it'll hold up to processing. It's very pitted. Yeah, that won't hold up. So we'll leave it behind. And a limpet. There's a lucky limpet right there. Hello, lucky limpet. Unbelievable. Look at this little tiny whelk. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Wow. Stunner. Stunner with that dark tip on there. Man, that's nice. Great little lightning rock. Oh my gosh, after all of this bending down today, I think I'm gonna have to spend a day on a couch to recover. <laughs> Incredible shelling here today. Absolutely amazing. It's a nice big scallop down there, wow. Look at that guy. Beautiful. And there's a bryozoan colony. Very cool. Oh, a little hinged pair of the purple mussels. Gorgeous nacre inside this set. Wow. Oh, bummer. There's a spindle out of a crown conch. I'd love to find a crown conch that big. Wow. All right, so this wall's not in fabulous shape, but something about that color that I just like. I want to put this one in my flower bed. <laughs> He's nice. Oh, does that little pear well have a stem? It does. Lovely little pear well. Great little shell right there. Really nice. Is 
what's that one they call Princess Venus, I think. It looks like a quahog, but it's thinner and it doesn't have all that purple. It has that kind of squared off edge. I'll look at my book again, but I think so. And this is a great little shell. I love it. Somebody made a pile of fighting cocks. My gosh. Look at that one. That one's gorgeous. Oh. And look at this. There's one right here. Another. A moon snail. Almost a golden glow to that moon snail. That's really quite lovely. A little tiny baby whelk. <laughs> a piece of a bryozoan colony. Another worm snail. An apple murex. Another apple murex. An olive. Another apple murex. Are you kidding me right now? Ah! Most gorgeous fighting conch I've seen all day. Another little baby whelk. And there is an old lace murex right there. Good grief. I mean, within like two square feet of each other. You've got to be kidding me. It's astonishing. Man, there's another apple murex right next to me. This is bananas. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wow, Sunset Beach. You are knocking it out of the park today. That was wild. There's a smooth duck clam here. Look at that guy, he's nice. Urchins all over the place. If I wanted to stock up an urchins, I'd go crazy, but I don't. I have a bunch. However, this little horse conch, even though it's in terrible shape, is a horse conch. I will pick that up. I love pieces of horse conch. I like whole ones better, but I like pieces a lot. What do we got here? Look at that. Look at that gorgeous olive. Man. And a limpet right here in front of me. Hello, lucky limpet. There's a nice scallop there. Look at the colors on that. Oh, look at that moon. Hey, you're adorable. I don't think, judging from how much amazing stuff we're finding, I don't think Sunset has had quite the shelling pressure on it as, uh, say, Passage Girl has. So we're finding an amazing amount of stuff here. Some really quality, cool stuff, too. My goodness, my goodness. Soft corals and more urchins. Fighting clams, those cinnias, sunray venus clams, and pen shells, tulips, apple murexes. Just great stuff today. Well, this is kind of the furthest John and I have actually come up this way before. So we're sort of seeing some of this beach for the first time. Definitely not disappointed. Oh my gosh, baby horse pump right there. Hello. And a worm snail. Ooh, a little paired, but he's been busted open by something. Look at that scallop. Oh, still has goo in it. Otherwise, I'd take it. It's so beautiful. There's another old perky one. This one goes to the horse conch as opposed to the whelk, maybe. Cool. This rack line is intense, how much stuff there is. Even away from the bigger piles. Load the stuff. Who else is over here? No way. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Another awesome little horsey con. Oh my god, you're so pretty. Love it. Well, I am almost out of room on my storage card. 
so I'm gonna have to make a couple of more finds and pickups here and then call it a day from the beach. Oh, broken apple murex. Let's see, what can I find? Over my last few minutes. Got this nice base scallop. That's beautiful. Oop, just broke a pen shell. Oh my gosh, look at that piece of true tree. Where he is rad, but dang, that is vibrant. Wow, beautiful. That's a cool piece. All right, let's uh, let's stop right here. Grab this adorable little moon snail. And if my camera dies and I can't film anymore, I just want to say thank you, Sunset Beach, for another amazing shelling run. Okay, I fibbed. I walked two more feet. Found these beautiful little cockles. This gorgeous apple murex and a perfect tulip. Look at that banded tulip. Look at the colors of that. Sunset Beach once again. Home run. Woohoo! I have just enough juice to get this guy. That Atlantic Talon, I like these shells a lot. That's a cool find too. Nice. Oh my gosh, I hope I have enough battery for this. Sand dollars are washing up at us all over the place. Look. All over. I've already picked up like four or five of them in here at least. Hopefully I'll make them back to the car without hurting them. There's loads of pieces of them all in this rack line. There's another one. It's a really nice one too. Wow. Sunset Beach. Mm -mm -mm. Please let there be enough battery juice for this. Rare find for the day, John. That is a strawberry cockle. You can differentiate them between a prickly cockle by this weird little foot that comes down over here and they usually have like a brighter reddish orange color to them what a beautiful example of a strawberry cockle and that will be the last thing i pick up today on sunset beach had another unbelievably fantastic day of finding and what a great way to end it with some sand dollars and a strawberry cockle amazing thank you so much sunset beach Here's a little tip for you when you're cleaning shells. When you put together a bucket of bleach water, after your shells are cleaned from the bleach and you go to put them in the rinse water, don't empty this. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of sand in there and a, a little bit of stuff, but as you can, you can see right through this, I can still smell bleach. So I'm not gonna dump this out and make a new batch of bleach water up because it just seems like a waste. If this has still got a, a good cleaning power and is still doing a good job cleaning things off, which from what I can tell, it's done a great job. Um, there's no sense to, to dump it out and dump it down the drain. So if your bleach water has gotten a little weak but it still smells bleachy, throw a little extra bleach in there. Just keep using it over until you're all done with your cleanings. I, myself, have about, oh, seven or eight more shopping bags worth of stuff that has to be cleaned. So I'm going to probably keep this bucket on the go for a while. And I wear gloves because, you know, which gives me skin issues. Oh yeah, everything that had algae and yuck on it is all a ton cleaner, tons and tons cleaner. Holy smokes. Big difference. Into the rinse water. And I've got a few more, you know, fragile, smaller shells in here too, so just taking my time, not really flinging stuff. I'm just sort of picking it up, wanting mm. the bleach drain and then just gently letting it fall in there.
And you'll see I got a bunch of the sand in my hand when I pick this bunch up. And that's what's clouding the water up. Sand and silt. And yeah, there's a lot of sand junk in here. Because it comes out of the shells. See, when you pick these shells up off the beach, most of the time you knock the sand that's out here, but if it's been around a while, this little spire up here will fill up with sand too. So you soak them and do this. You get the extra stuff out of them. Add some more bleach to this, some more shells to it, and off it goes. Clean some more shells. Oh no, I'm running out of daylight. It took me so long to set these shells up out of the rinse bucket, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do my ID. But this is the haul from Sunset Beach. Let's, uh, let's dive on into this and get into this when the daylight is better. Just look at that haul table from Sunset Beach. Holy cow. Winter Storm Finn was really good to us on Sunset Beach. We found an incredible and astonishing amount of stuff. Not only that, but I don't even have everything on the table because I can't fit it. There's more. Let's start up here with some sand dollars. Oh, I guess we should do the operculums first because we got a big bunch of operculums up there. And you can see some from Welk and others from Horse Conk. That's Welk, that's Horse Conk. So we got a few of those, pretty awesome. Got one right there and there. Those are from some tulips. Nice little array of sand dollars that was out there that day too. We got a piece of an angel wing. Here's a couple of smooth duck clams and an Atlantic fat talon. I just like those shells. That real weird little swoop on the edge. They're just so cool. Over here, we've got some crown conks, got some fossils, some old fossil cones, some coral. Look at this amount of tulips. There's a gorgeous true right there too. Man, oh man, beautiful, beautiful trues. Such great color. And we got some little ones over here too. An incredible amount of apple murexes. And this isn't even all of them. Some of them already went in the flower beds because they had big holes in them. A couple of them like this. So those were amazing. The, the Apple Murex is, I've never, <laughs> ever seen anything like that. That was wild that day. Absolutely incredible. Got some bigger moons and some smaller moons here. Some of the calico clams. Some regular calico scallops and smaller bays right here. Good color on those. Nice selection of fighting conks too. Look at this one. Love that nice dark color on there. That's really nice. We got some buttercup lucines right here above our murexes. And a little selection of the cockles. Again, the regular prickly cockle with a nice dark purple. A normal colored one with some yellow on the edge. And another albino. How incredible that we got another albino one. Amazing. A couple of egg cockles here, and these are a couple of Princess Venus clams here in the back. Some worm snails. And then we have a different little shark eye. I wanted to kind of show this. One type is very flat. He's not really raised up right there. He's just sort of sort of flattened. The other style sticks up. See how much fatter that is? So I thought that was kind of cool to have one of each of those styles. This would be a regular moon, whereas this I think they would call it the shark eye because it does stand up proud like that away from the shell. Some great little whelks, some really cute little teeny tinies, some nice bigger ones, and they're sort of drying because I pulled them out of the, the water yesterday. So let's just uh, get them wet so we can appreciate their colors on them. Very, br very much brighter when they're wet. Nice. 
Some olives through here, augers and sereths. Great selection of the southern horse mussels, my goodness. Pear whelks, look at the pear whelks we got that day. Gosh, the color on that guy's nice. Some chestnut turbans. A shark vertebrae. Some gorgeous coquinas. Five of my little lucky limpet pals. I love those guys. Some other great little littles here too. Look at the horse conks and especially the littlest one. Isn't that adorable? Got some button snails in there. Some rib canthus and a couple of gulf oyster drills and sharp rib drills. That's these guys here with these flanges on the sides of them. That's the sharp rib. There's a spotted slipper snail, which is awesome. Now this little guy, I have found uh, curious. It reminds me of a fossil shell that I get from Egmont Key, but I don't know that it is a fossil or if it's just a broken lightning whelk. So I'm really not sure about that one at all. A great little coffee bean melampus. Super, super dark. Unlike that last one I got, which was kind of pale, this guy's really, really dark. Beautiful example of it. Some yellow cockles. A nice hinged pair, which was awesome. And that little one, which I thought was really nice too. He's not super yellow, but he's still pretty. And this one is also not super yellow. So I thought those were kind of kind of fun finds. And we've got some baby's ears over here. This one is maculated. It's got the brown and yellow on it. And then I think this one might be as well because the center is darker and then it's dark through here and on that side. Oh, look at that adorable little scallop. Got some real adorable little teeny tiny sea urchins as well. Nice selection of the white semeles, the white Atlantic semeles. And let's talk about this little beauty right here. That is a strawberry cockle. This is a very rare find for our area. We almost never see these. And you can differentiate the prickly cockle from the strawberry because of the point. See how a prickly cockle is just round. Strawberry cockles have that right, that raised ridge there on the one side and a point down here. So that's also a super cool find. Now these, I'm going to have to spend some time looking through my books. This guy I think might be a dove snail. He looks like it. This one I'm not exactly sure, but it might be a special kind of marginella. Um, it looks like a broken olive, right? Like it's just sheared off olive until you flip it over and look at the back and the inside looks like a marginella shell, only it has a nice big point here. So I'm going to have to spend some time doing a little digging and figuring out what he is. We also have a couple of the flat coils here. And this was a little teeny tiny pointed Venus clam, super duper cute. And our fossils, I liked this one. This is a fossil lace murex, love that, awesome. And just to show off how great some of these tulips are, I mean, look at this, look at the size of that tulip, humongous. So yes, all in all, Sunset Beach, was an absolutely fantastic shell run after Winter Storm Finn. I cannot believe how much cool stuff is on this table right now. Oh gosh, look, there's the comb bittersweets. I forgot to even mention those guys. How amazing are those? This one's a little weird shaped. He's a little wonky. I liked him because of that. And then our keyhole limpets, we have some of them that are the cayenne one listers, and then this is the other one, the rosy with the the stripes, the bands on it. And then this poor little unfortunate shell. Oh, I was heartbroken when I found that. That's a really nice purplish simile in the orange variety. But when I found it, it had been stepped on and squashed. Bummer. Here's a nice little scorched mussel that's still hinged. Really cool. Another really cute little scallop. Yeah, so there were tons, tons of amazing finds. We both did exceptionally well there at Sunset Beach. So I am very pleased with this haul. All in all, Winter Storm Finn gave us some absolutely unbelievable shelling conditions. And as a result, 
We got an unbelievable amount of shells. Sunset Beach. Oh. <laughs> Sunset Beach. Sunset Beach. Did not look like Sunset Beach. Sunset Beach looks like Santa Bell. Oh, that rock line was unbelievable. Now, the, the sand scattering and everything else is a little concerning with how much that sand that they put there, it's all been kind of leveled back. But as you can see that day, even closer to high tide, the water was still back a little ways from us and there was plenty of beach to walk. So some major uh, changes have kind of taken place over at sunset in the last few months between Adalia and some of these winter storms. It hasn't stopped the shelling at all. In fact, it seems like it's made it much better. And um, I've, I've had good luck finding things at sunset before, but today, unbelievable. I mean, just bending over and just murex tulip, murex tulip, murex tulip. I, uh, not used to that level. That, that's next level shelling right there. And it doesn't matter where you go. That was pretty fantastic. So we've had an incredible time on this Spin Finds 5 series. I really hope you enjoyed this five beach two day adventure. Hope you enjoyed all the amazing shells that we did find. Of course, I'm going to have to have some creation time coming up with all of this stuff, too. Thank you so much for joining us. Please come back. We'll always have more shelling and beach reports for you. And remember, get out there and go shelling.